Hey guys, the objective of this video is to look at different cases and what they mean. So it's sort of a continuation from the previous video. It's actually going to be a very, very important video, so I recommend you watch it. Now, we said in the previous video that we're always going to have lateral loading and the secondary action will be torsion depending on the center of mass is equal or not to the center of rigidity. So, we're going to be looking at some cases here. So let's say our structure is non-symmetrical. And what I mean by non-symmetrical is that about the x and y, it's not perfectly symmetrical. So this is non-symmetrical. Symmetrical looks like this. So you can see it's a perfect square, perfect square. These aren't perfect squares, okay? So, if we're looking at a non-symmetrical case like these two here, and in this one we have a shear core, and in this one we don't have a shear core, we're going to be looking at what happens along grid line one for both cases. Now, when we have a shear core, the shear core is much stiffer than the columns. And therefore, it's going to take all the lateral loading, which means there's going to be no lateral loading along grid line one. So let me repeat that. Once again, there always is going to be lateral loading. However, when we have a shear core and we're looking at an outer perimeter along grid line one, the shear core is much stiffer than the columns and it takes all the lateral loading. So all the lateral loading is taken by the shear core, which means that along grid line one, there's going to be no um, lateral loading. So there is lateral loading, but not along grid line one. However, the center of mass is not equal to the center of rigidity. So we're going to be talking about how to find these later. So you can see they're not at the same location, which means there's going to be torsion along grid line one. So along grid line one, there's no lateral loading, but there's torsion. Okay. So in our structure, there's lateral and torsion. There's both of them. But along grid line one, there's only torsion. There's no lateral loading. So that's one case. The second case is when we don't have a shear core. So it's non-symmetrical and no shear core like this. So this is the structure we're looking at. And there's no shear core, which means that the columns have to take the lateral loading. So there is lateral loading along grid line one. Okay, so not only do we have um, lateral loading, but also our center of mass is not equal to 